Hey everyone, Nicole here with fitnessblender.com and today I have day 12 of Fitness Blender's free two week challenge. So today is the final scheduled day of this challenge if you're following along. Today's focus is on core with an extended mobility cool down. So great way to wrap things up. We're gonna kick things off with a four minute activation warm up, then head into 15 minutes of straight core work, board easily style. And we're gonna have three different circuits, each with a different focus. We're gonna have a focus on the abdominals, focus on the obliques, and then a focus on your glutes and low back. So very comprehensive core workout coming your way. And then we'll wrap things up with that eight minute extended mobility cool down. For equipment today, you can see you don't need much at all. You don't even need shoes. So make sure you have either a mat or a comfortable space on the floor. Modifications and progressions will be provided along the way. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with a four minute activation series. We have six exercises back to back for 40 seconds each. And this is gonna be all about prepping your core and prepping your body for the movements to come. So pay close attention to the form, the breathing cues that I'm giving to you because that's really going to set the foundation for a really successful, effective core workout to come. So that being said, go ahead and find a spot on your mat. I'll get my timer started and we will get to it. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna start on our back with some pelvic tilts. So go ahead and come all the way down to your back, feet flat on the floor. Okay, so from here, you're gonna inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward, so creating a gap with that low back. Exhale as you press your low back into the floor, thinking about tucking your tailbone under. Inhale, arch that low back. Exhale, press it in. Some of these in the warm up may feel very basic, very simple. That's intended to be that way. That's okay. Inhale, create that space. Exhale, press it down. Good. Next up, we have a dead bug. I want those feet straight up overhead, arms straight as well. We're gonna exhale, extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it back in, reset with an inhale, exhale, extend. So you can see here, my legs and arms are straight. If this is too difficult or you feel that low back lifting, I want you to bring those knees to 90 degrees and do this format right here, where you're tapping that heel and pulling it back in. So you've got a couple different options here with that dead bug. Next up, glute bridge. Good, feet back flat on the floor. We're gonna exhale, lift those hips. Inhale, back down. Exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, back down. I want you to squeeze the glutes at the top, bringing them in line with your knees and shoulders. So you don't need to go above that point. A lot of people try to get their hips as high as possible, but that's not the goal here. Just bring it in line. Pair it up with the breath. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. We can't forget about the back side of our core today, so we're going to make sure we get that as well. Flipping over next, we've got a bird dog. So bring yourself to hands and knees, quadruped position. We're going to exhale, extend long, opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep that low back neutral. Inhale it back down. Exhale, extend. Inhale back down. Now with this one, I want you to think about keeping those hips square to the floor as much as possible. So this one's gonna challenge you and want you to twist your body, rotate. It's an anti-rotation exercise. Keep everything braced right through here. Drawing that navel up and in. Good, go ahead and tuck the toes, bring your hips up, downward dog with the knee drive. So we're gonna bring ourselves forward to plank, drive that knee between the elbows, and then back up. Drive the knee and back. So getting a nice stretch through the backside while also working those abdominals. Good, you're welcome to just take a downward facing dog here. You're welcome to take out that knee drive if that doesn't feel good for you.
Good, bear crawl, hover, bring it back to your quadruped position. I want you to go ahead and take a big inhale. On your exhale, brace your core, hover those knees off the ground, hold it nice and steady right here. Flat back, navel drawn up and in. Okay, you continue to keep your core braced as you inhale and exhale. Now, if you need a little reprieve, you can bring it back down and then reset with that exhale. Back up, inhale down. Okay, so you can come up and down with your breath with this one, exhaling to lift, inhaling to lower. Or if you feel strong, you can stay right here. Good, relax it down. Awesome. Roll those wrists out a little bit here. We are going to get right into our first circuit. Now our first one is abdominal focused. So we're gonna focus just on those front six pack muscles, your rectus, rectus abdominis muscles. We've got five exercises, one time through. So it's a board easily style today. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna start back with that dead bug that we started with today um, in the activation. So go ahead and make your way back to your back. If you have moved, I'll reset my timer and we will get into it. All right, dead bug is up first. Remember you've got the straight arm, straight leg option or bent knees. Good, exhale, extend. Again, take note if your low back is rising, if you see any doming through your abdominals here, that's a sign that that's gonna to be too advanced for you. Now you can, again, bend your knees to 90 degrees, drop and lift. And that's a good modification right there. Beautiful. Rest for 10 seconds here. Next up, we've got a tabletop crunch with a heel drop. I want you to bring those knees back to 90 degrees. So 90, 90. Right here, hands behind the ears. I'm gonna have you crunch up first, lift your chin towards the ceiling, bring it down, drop one heel and lift. Up, crunch, drop the other heel. So keep following this format right here. You're gonna feel those rectus muscles start to feel a little bit of a burn. If you need an advancement or a progression on this, you can do both legs at the same time with that heel drop, lift, and crunch, okay? So that's always an option for you if you need a little bit more from this. As you crunch, think about taking your chin straight up to the ceiling Good, relax, awesome job. Legs are extended here. Arms up over the chest. Single leg V up, alternating. With this one, I'm gonna have you kind of come into a half sit up as you raise a leg. Half sit up, raise a leg. This is your single leg V up. We're alternating side to side, exhaling up, inhaling down. You can also bend those knees slightly and do the same thing right here. A little bit easier. Decrease your range of motion as needed. Good, last few seconds here. Take any variation you need to at any time. Think about activating from those low abs all the way up to the highest part. Good, relax. Okay, next up, we're gonna sit up a little bit more. We've got a bolt hold. A couple different options here. All right, first option is going to be to bring those knees to 90 degrees. Recline back just a little bit here, keeping those abs nice and strong, arms out straight. You can also do an overhead hold, if that feels good to you. Okay, modification, feet down. Decrease the amount that you're sitting back, okay? So you can have this more stable position right here or hands flat, okay? So you choose what works best for you. Legs up is definitely gonna be more unstable, working into that isometric 
position. Okay, hold it here. Make sure you continue to breathe. Continue to draw your navel up and in, feeling that burn through the rim of the front abdominals. Good, breathe last few seconds. Great. All right, last of our abdominal focus here before we switch to obliques. We're coming down to a forearm plank. So all the way down to forearms. Step it back to that plank, holding here. 50 seconds is a long time to hold a plank for most. So make sure, let's get into that good plank form. Modify on the knees if you'd like. Okay, holding here, squeezing the glutes. Sometimes I also like to place palms up, that way I can take some stress off the shoulders a little bit here and use the shoulders less, core more. Draw your navel up and in, squeezing, locking out those knees. Being sure to breathe. Good, stay in it for me, almost there. Keep your neck nice and neutral with your spine. And rest, good, okay. All right, you guys, excellent job. We're gonna take our first water break. Quick, briefly, grab a sip of water and I'll meet you right back here on the mat for our oblique focus. Welcome back. It's time to take our attention off of the rectus abdominis, the front abdominal muscles, and turn it to our obliques. So this round is five minutes, five new exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, all just one time through, focusing on the obliques only, okay? So take a spot on your mat. I'm gonna start my timer and we'll get into it. All right, here we go. Let's start on one side. Doesn't matter which one, whatever you're closest to. We're gonna start in a side plank. So stack the feet. We're coming up to that side plank and we're gonna go into a knee drive neck. So that arm comes overhead, drive the knee and back out. Okay, now progression option. So lift that leg and don't bring it all the way back down. Modification option, bend that bottom knee, hold that hip up, tap, and drive the knee. Okay, you've got several options here to choose from. Let's stay strong for these last 20 seconds. Feeling that bottom oblique work to stay lifted. Good, drop it down. Next up, we're going into a hip dip. So I'll give you a couple different options on this as well. Let's stay on the same side, forearm down. Lift back up to that side plank, feet stacked. Hip dip, you're gonna drop the hip towards the floor, a little break in the hip and lift. Drop and lift, okay? Now, if that doesn't feel good to you or you feel unstable, I want you to bend your knees, keep your knees and ankles stacked, and you're gonna drop and then lift back up in line. Okay, so that is always an option for you. Stay strong, you're almost there. 10 seconds left and then we switch it to the left side. All right, let's switch it over. Those same two exercises repeated on the opposite side. So opposite forearm is grounded, stack the feet. All right, side plank with knee drive. Good, remember your modification to come down to that bottom knee. Bottom knee is on the floor. Same idea with the top leg though, driving and extending it back out. Because with this, you're getting not only the isometric hold with that oblique that's closest to the ground, but you're getting that concentric contraction with that top side. So lots going on here. 
it's supposed to be challenging. You've got it the last 10 seconds. Good, okay. Going into that hip dip on the same side. Remember your options. We're gonna, we have that full side plank hip dip or bent knees. And you don't have to touch your hip to the ground. That's not the goal here. We're just looking to get a little bit of a bend and then power back up. So really feeling it through that side. And again, remember, you always have this option available to you. Sit back and drive back up in line. Ten seconds. Hang in there. You can do it. And rest. Good. Okay. All right. We are done with those. We've got one more in our oblique series, though. So from here, when you start with those heels on the ground, we're going to sit back, arms straight, side to side. Russian twist with the straight arms. And we're sitting back just far enough. We can still maintain a really long spine, but feel that in the abdominals and the obliques as you twist. Try to tap the floor on each side, get that full range of motion. You can come up higher if you need to. As a progression, make it harder. Legs come off the ground. Almost there. Stay strong through the rest. This is it for the obliques before we move on. Awesome. Okay. I think the obliques are successfully fatigued, at least mine are. So we're going to move on to glutes and lower back focus because we have to finish with that backside to make things balanced out. So same idea, five new exercises. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Here we go. We're gonna start first with a plank knee drive with a leg raise. So let's come to a high plank position first. Okay, just the right side or whichever side you pick first. Lift that leg, squeeze the glutes, drive the knee and back. Drive the knee and back. Now, if you don't want this on your wrists or your wrists have had enough, you can absolutely still do this from the forearm. Just bring that knee out to the side a little bit more. A little glute raise in the back and then out. From your knees, we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, okay? Many different options to fit your knees. We just have about 10 seconds left here. Draw that navel up and in. Keep it strong and steady. Shoulders over the wrist. Excellent, relax. Before we switch to the opposite side, go ahead and come all the way down to your belly. We've got an alternating Superman here. Lift opposite arm, opposite leg. Head stays facing towards the floor. Feel the muscles through your upper back and shoulders working all the way down through your low back and glutes, working to lift. Excellent, relax. Okay, let's bring it back up. Choose the variation. We're gonna go back to that plank knee drive on the opposite side. Here we go. So for me, that's left side, lift, drive the knee. Lift, drive the knee. As you're taking that leg back, flex that foot, kick that foot towards the back wall. Really think about squeezing the glutes to get that lift. 
This doesn't have to be fast, it can be nicely controlled. You also have that forearm option with the knee out to the side. Or from the knees, with that just glute lift. Keep your neck neutral with your spine here. Awesome, okay, two exercises left. Bring it over to your back. We've got an alternating single leg glute bridge. <clears throat> Go ahead and lift up. Keep those feet together here. We're gonna start first with one leg lifted. We're gonna do five single leg glute raises. So one, two, three, four, five. Hold at the top, switch legs. We're gonna do five, four, three, two, one. Good, switch. Switch every five here. Switch at the top once you get those five. Really thinking about lifting your hip in line with your shoulder and knee. Again, it's not a goal to get higher than that. Good, okay. Come on over to your belly. Last exercise here. Alternating glute lift with a pull down. Okay, from here, what I want you to do, think about squeezing, pulling down, release, glute lift. So you can see my knees are bent, heels together. I'm lifting my knees and quads off the ground to activate my glutes. Pull it down, glute raise. With that pull down, thinking about lifting as high as you can, pulling those elbows down towards the hips. Good, keep alternating. Get as much lift as you can here. This is it, you guys, before we cool it down. And rest, okay. Go ahead and release out of that one. And I'm gonna give you another quick water break as we prepare for our mobility cool down. So grab a quick sip of water, let that heart rate level out a little bit. I'll meet you right here on the mat. Welcome back. It is time to wrap things up with an eight minute mobility cool down. This is gonna be a nice way to wrap things up on not only this workout, but on the final day of this two week challenge. So we're gonna get a nice full body mobility cool down, 10 exercises, 45 seconds each, back to back. So go ahead and find a spot on your mat. We're gonna start off on our tummy. So go ahead and get in that position and I'll meet you right there. Okay. First up, we've got a cobra to a scorpion. So I want you to start off first on your tummy with those elbows bent. So we've got first that cobra position, and then from here, we're gonna fan those arms out to the side, rotate a leg across, doesn't matter which side, bring it back center, cobra position up, down, opposite side. So just alternating through this, getting that nice spinal mobility Nice stretch through the abdominals. Next up, we've got a puppy pose with a lateral leg extended. Perfect. From here, we're going to bend the knees, take those arms out straight. Keep the hips high here. Find your puppy pose first. Once you have that, take one leg out to the side. Keep those hips elevated. Let your chest drop to the floor. You're gonna feel this on that inner thigh as well. We're gonna have a couple more seconds before we switch sides. Good, take that opposite leg out to the side. Same idea here, let that chest fall to the floor.
Good. Both feet in. We're going to tuck the toes under. Send your hips back. Downward facing dog. Once you have that position, we're going to go ahead and pedal out the feet a little bit, bending and extending the knees, taking turns here. Really feeling a nice stretch through the calves, through the hamstrings, through the chest, mid-back. Good. Runner's lunge is up next. Doesn't matter which foot is first. Go ahead and take one leg up. Let's swing it through. Drop your back knee. Runner's lunge. Doesn't matter which leg. We're going to tuck that tailbone under. Chest up tall. Shift your weight into that front leg. Hold it here. Feeling a nice stretch through the hips. You're also welcome to, if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch here, take that arm up that matches that back leg. You can hold it straight up and do a mini back bend, or you can take it across that front knee. Feeling a nice little oblique stretch. Take what you need here. Good. With that same leg that's in front, we're going to go into a pigeon. So heel toe that foot across so it's in line with that back knee. And then drop that front knee to the floor. Shift so that you can get a little bit lower to the ground while keeping those hips square to the floor. Maybe drop to those elbows. Release any tension that you're holding. I know some of us like to hold on to that tension while we're stretching, but I encourage you to take some inhales and exhales. And release that tension. Let you, yourself melt into the floor. Beautiful. Use your to hands to get out of that one. We're going to switch sides. Runner's lunge on the opposite side here. So opposite leg is in front. Tuck the tailbone under. Shift forward. Find yourself right here. See how this feels. Again, you always have the option to add on with that arm raise. A little mini back bend or taking it across that midline. Maybe you do a little combo. A little back bend, a little side bend. Pigeon coming your way next in just a few seconds. Again, heel toe that foot across, drop that front knee towards the floor, balance it out with the hands, and then sink deeper as your body will allow you, okay? You may not be able to go as low as this, maybe you can go lower, maybe you can flatten yourself completely out. Mobility is going to look a little different for everybody, and that's okay. Just important to note those areas of tightness, those areas of restriction and improve on those over time. Find the stretches that are challenging and weave them in a little bit more. Good. All right, go ahead and sit up. Hands behind your back, feet out front, heels on the floor. From here, we're gonna drop your knees to one side and then drop them to the other side. 90-90 hip stretch. Again, note any areas of tightness. Maybe one side is harder to internally rotate than the other or externally rotate. Just want to note those things. I know for me, I commonly sit with my legs crossed in a certain position or like sit on the couch with my legs in a certain direction. And so it's tighter on one side than the other. Maybe it's the same for you, maybe it's not. Whichever side you're on, I want you to hang out there. Find that position. From here, I want you to reach across <clears throat> with one side towards that leg with the back foot and then open up through that opposite oblique. I'm gonna turn my body just a little bit so you can see what's going on. So I'm anchoring down and then feeling that stretch through the opposite side.
with this one, I want you to take some big inhales. Send your oxygen, send your air, expand through the side body. That's gonna help give you a little more stretch here. Beautiful. Let's take those knees in the opposite direction. Same idea, anchor down with that side towards the back foot. So cross stretch, cross reach, open it up. Send your air, send your expansion through that rib cage. One last big inhale and release. Excellent job today, you guys. Relax, feel free to revisit any of those stretches or mobility work that felt particularly good to you that you feel like you needed. Make sure you mark this as a workout complete. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, for moving your body throughout this workout or maybe this entire challenge if you've hung out with us. So again, mark that workout complete and be sure to tell me in the comments how this one felt for you, what your favorite or least favorite exercise was, and I will see you down there in the comments. Thanks again, my name's Nicole, and I look forward to working out with you next time. Workout complete.